Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. One of my favorite tools to work with is the Track Mat. It's kind of a fun tool. You can do some great effects with it. And I want to show you how it works right now. We've got a couple here, a young man and a woman, and they come in and hug. And I kind of like to surround them with a heart sort of a cookie cutter of a heart around them. And we're even gonna animate the heart and make it grow smaller as they hug. Uh, so just sort of a, a dot out effect, you know, so, sort of like that's all folks, but in the shape of a heart. So let's see if we can do that effect. To do that effect, I need a white object that is going to define my mat. A mat is simply a word for something that's cut out. So the way you use the track mat is that you have an object that's white you tell the track mat to cut it out and it becomes transparent. And if there's nothing behind the video that's transparent, it's going to just look black, which we're going to use black in this particular case. Now to create the track, I do need a white object and I have here a heart that I created in Photoshop Elements that has no background. So in other words, it is transparent around the heart. There it is. Let's close Project Assets. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger here. So it fills the screen. And now any animation I want to apply to that mat, all I have to do is apply them to this white object and then tell the track mat to create a mat based on that shape. So here's the couple. They come in and they hug. They're behind our heart, just as we want them to be. And then right here, we're going to go to Applied Effects. We'll open up Motion. Open up the keyframe controller by clicking on the little stopwatch in the upper right-hand corner. And we'll create our initial keyframes by clicking on animation, toggling on animation. This is the beginning of our shrink down of our heart. So it starts here and all of these little diamonds here represent the current settings or the current position, the current size of that little heart. So we'll move our playhead off to the right here and then we'll make our heart have a scale of zero just by moving the slider all the way down. So that's the effect. You can see it. The couple hug. They're surrounded by a heart, and then the heart shrinks down. Let's shut uh, the applied effects. There we go. Now all we need to do is tell the track mat effect to follow that white object and create a, a mat at the position and size of that particular object. And you notice that I put this particular uh, white object up on track three. It needs to be on track three in order for the track mat to work because the track mat always uses the object on a track above it. Now I need to create some black video, so I'm going to move the playhead to the end of the timeline just by pressing the end button. Go up here to project assets and in the hamburger menu select new item black video and we'll drag our black video up here to video track two and we'll make it a little bit longer than our white object. So now if I move my playhead, you see we have our white heart on a black background, and then underneath that is our video. Let's select the track mat, We're going to effects. I'm gonna shrink this down, just drag it over to the right here. And if I go to the keying effects and select track mat key, I'm going to drag the track mat key or apply the track mat key to the black video. So I drag it down to the black video. On the right hand, it automatically opens up applied effects. And I'm just gonna close the keyframe controller by clicking on that stopwatch. There we go. Now it's easier to see. And I'm going to tell the track mat on the black video to use the white object to create a mat by going to the mat menu here in applied effects and selecting video track three, which is where my white heart is. And you notice what we have is a black heart over a transparent background. We can reverse that by selecting that option here in the applied effects panel. And voila, we've got our heart. Let's see how our effect looks. We'll close our applied effects panel. We'll play our video. There they go, they hug, there's the heart. Now the heart should shrink down, there it goes. So again, the principle is you use a white object to define an area and then you use the track mat to punch a hole or to create transparency through a video based on the size and position of that white object. And that's the way you create a kind of cool effect. 
Now, if you want to know more about creating effects like this, you'll want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything there is to know about Premiere Elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Grisetti. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.